Hi friends, welcome back. As you all know that Dangote's truck has been having collisions, accident, for a very long time now. And recently, it, I think the there there has been an increase in the collision and accident. Well, one would have thought about what Dangote is all about. Well, Dangote, as you know, is the richest man in Africa, as they say. is from the northern part of Nigeria. But... One would wonder with all the wealth that these people acquire, what has Dangote done? What effect have you felt in the northern part of Nigeria? Some say Dangote has employed a lot of people in his company and therefore created jobs. That I agree. But what about humanitarian assistance, charity? The picture you see right there is that of the richest man, at least. He was on the he is still on the list of richest men in the world and that is the ceo of microsoft bill gates he came to nigeria and when he left what he said was not something that is in fact he actually pointed out the truth of the health sector and a lot of things and if you are a nigerian i think you tell yourself the truth that the health sector in nigeria is nowhere on the scale of let us say we are managing it is not there at all. It is so poor. And if there's any word for poor, I think that is it. Femi Fani Kayode decided to tweet, although he was also part of the past administration. And I don't know what he has done right now. If you are a friend or you've benefited from Femi Fani Kayode's scholarship or any of this, or if he has built a school, a, uni a university or something like that, or even a primary school or any hospital, as a form of giving back to the society at least he enjoyed from the same nigeria he schooled abroad he is an alumni of london and cambridge he is a spokesperson to, he was a spokesperson to president obasanjo former minister of culture and former minister of aviation and all through those period he made a lot of money too he has um certain efcc issues anyway and he decided to tweet, and in his tweet, he said, Bill Gates opened my eyes to challenges in Nigerian health sector. Now, he's actually retweeting, he copied the tweet of Aliko Dangote. That's what Aliko Dangote tweeted. Aliko Dangote got money to be the richest man in Africa. I believe that Obasanjo is also one of the people that helped him to get to this point. As most of the time, you see him always um, saying thank you to Obasanjo, being the one of the strongest pillars that brought him to this level that he is, the richest man. And he got this money as a result of monopoly. That is how Dangote became the richest man. And of course, the Aousafala, they, they supported him. That is how he became the richest man in Africa. In Africa, some people might say we never had rich people billionaires millionaires and obasanjo decided to look into this and he raised up billionaires he raised up billionaires and we can actually say now in nigeria that we have millionaires in nigeria even if they actually got this probably doing some kind of dirty deals but when i mean dirty deals i mean some of them are the opportunities of having refineries private oil well and that is how they became billionaires but what i'm talking about is this how is it that it's so difficult for these people to impact into the lives of other citizens of the country yes you might point fingers at job creation but aside that what about scholarships i mean we need to see evidential proof of this not just yes the man paid scholarship for some groups of people i mean we need this these people have so much money but yet you would not see the impact the purpose of the government making you billionaires, giving them opportunities to become billionaires, is for them to impact. That is what I believe. Although we know that they they actually pay their dues, there is they have they, they do kickbacks. They pay their dues to the people that made them rich, so they can all keep becoming rich, richer, and of course become the richest. Let me quickly go to the tweet of Femi Fanikayode, and here he retweeted. He actually quote the tweet of Aliko Dangote where he writes, Bill Gates opened my eyes to challenges in Nigerian, in Nigeria's health system. And it's so unfortunate that Aliko Dangote 
that grew up in the north of Nigeria, lived in Nigeria, and growing up in the north of Nigeria, apart from being rich, there must be a time in Dangote's life that he must have seen. I'm not even saying that he lived that life. There must be a time in his life that he must have seen poverty. He must have seen decay in the health system, in the health sector. These are people that could affect. These are people that could positively push the government in the right direction. Although they get money from the government, not by bribes, but um, opportunities for them to get some kind of businesses done in Nigeria. And no one is going to stop them. Um, easy flow for them, easy movement for them and all of that. Here he is saying that Bill Gates left United States of America, came down to Nigeria, and opened up his eyes to see the challenges that we have in the health sector. That is, to me, mediocrity. Or can we actually call this pretense? Now, Femi Fanikao, they went for and say, it took Bill Gates to tell you that we have problems in our health sector. That is so sad. And I'm also saying the same to Femi Fanny Kyle because somehow he also enjoyed from the same Nigeria. He schooled abroad. He went to the best school in the United Kingdom. And of course, his father is also involved in politics. But let us forget about his father now. Let us talk about him himself. When he came back from the United Kingdom, he got opportunities to become spokesperson, minister, minister. That is what he became back then. And he also got money. What did he do? Is actually pointing fingers at Ali Kodangote now. So I'm pointing fingers at all the elites. What have you done with the money that you have stolen, with the monopoly, and all of these things? What have you done? So it's such it's such a shame that Ali Kodangote is saying that he has not seen that there are a lot of amateurs on the street. There is no proper health care system in the north of Nigeria. Many of these countries that we see that are prosperous apart from their country being there their, their is the government being transparent the private citizens of this country after getting certain opportunities from the government and they become so super rich they bring that money out of their pocket they bring a portion of that money they pay back they impute back into the communities the states that they are from or the country they bring back, they put back, either by building private hospitals, by investing in certain things. You know, how can Bill Gates have to come out? You know, it's so disheartening that this man is writing this. such a shame that the richest man in Africa is saying that someone, a Caucasian, a foreigner, left his own country in the United States of America. Just look at the distance. Came down to Nigeria. Of course, Bill Gates has invested a lot of money. Yes, Bill Gates invested a lot of billions of Naira into health in Africa and also in Nigeria he invested a lot and the man had to come down with his wife like I don't really understand I'm bringing money to these people I'm sending money probably most of them might not be in cash probably in medications and all of those vaccines and all of this things now I'm not saying that vaccines from the Western country are the best because some of the sometimes they're actually using this as a test run to like human guinea pigs they actually use this to check certain things and all of that they might have some hidden agenda but let us talk about Aliko Dankuti now being in Nigeria and he's so blind, he doesn't see the roads. He cannot see. Let us say roads are for the government to handle. And Aliko Dankote feels like, you know what? This is for the government to handle. Let me handle a part. And that has to do with Amajiri's health sectors in Nigeria, not just providing jobs. But Dankote is so super rich that he can build a free hospital for the people in the north. I'm not even talking about the rest of the nation now because we have rich people all over each region. The Igbo people have very rich, super rich people that can also do the same. Particularly the people that got money from corrupt practices. So he went for that to say, meanwhile, is it true that your trucks kill more Nigerians per year than AIDS? If so, ask Bill Gates what to do about it. And there are a lot of people that commented about it here. Let me quickly run through the comment. Here's someone right. Dangote is talking about the business opportunity in the health sector. Not that he does not know the issues be devilled the health sector. So Dangote knows, according to this person, what is actually wrong in Nigeria. But he's talking about the business aspect of it. How he can make money out of the health sector. Another person here writes, um, and yet the person continues saying, Aliko Dangote is chunking 10 feet tall above his peer. There's nothing you can do about it. I am thinking he will soon diversify into health sector. Start thinking and stop complaining. 
you're absolutely right there's nothing i can do about it but someday someone who can will dangote is a fraud and all right if dangote is to come from any other part of nigeria aside the north federal government would have since banned trailers thank you that's why they try their best to sabotage the eastern effort so their father dangote can keep thriving in the era and all right if innocent is to be a northerner they would have banned car importation but reverses the case now just, just look at the system just look at nigeria innocent is from the eastern part of nigeria and this man is actually assembling automobiles cars in nigeria it is not going to be so, although i know that the government is kind of pushing for made in nigerian product now the border is closed i don't know if this book the border is closed because of dangote so that he can increase the price of his his own goods and sell to nigerians they say they want to improve and support and promote nigerian made products all right i don't have problems with that what about innocent innocent is assembling automobiles in nigeria there are a lot of things that a lot of people can do if the infrastructure and these things are put in place look at it there's no electricity in nigeria but the the man innocent can actually find a way to provide electricity for himself and find a plant a place where he can assemble these automobiles yet the senate will not patronize him i know it's a private owned business it's not a government owned business but we do not see the federal government actually supporting and promoting this man maybe they see him as an easterner rather than a nigerian that's the problem we have and that's why people are saying let us break apart so your dangote will not benefit from the rest of the nigerians and get better while someone an entrepreneur from the east of nigeria brings an idea and somehow they act like the person is not there well that is what it is anyway yes all right but it took nigeria being a world capital of poverty for him to see business opportunities every nigerian pays attention to what benefit him or our pocket even at the expense of his integrity just like data is the new oil money is the new integrity in nigeria so there's a lot of comment here another one right now you cannot be taken serious to be serious brother femi that's ffk femi fadi kayode the guy makes an honest admission about nigerian health system yet you choose to drag him out early in the morning i remember very well how much he contributed to your former principal re-election back in 2023 and all the subsequent elections held back when you are in the corridor of power you kept mute like zombie back then and now that you are out of power you think dragging people will make you relevant again aliko is a businessman not a policy maker for christ's sake now i i agree aliko is a businessman not a policy maker but is bill gates a policy maker or also a tech and an entrepreneur and also a businessman that is the difference between the way some people some group of people choose to reason being a businessman and having benefited from the nation does not mean that you cannot give back to the nation you can give back the nation not only in job creation you can give back to the nation by of course someone said some people said he has some scholarship scheme but no one is feeling this i'm talking about dangote imputing back into the nation just like how bill gates came to nigeria and a lot of people could feel of course we know some people stole so much out of the money that they they, they, they these people bring into nigeria and the guy decided to come with his wife to see what's even happening on ground it's so much of a shame he so he felt so ashamed of aliko dangote he said it indirectly that this place is not a place for anyone to be born how can this hospital be like this because someone like aliko dangote feels that it's the business of the government it's not his business but he benefited from the system he benefited so much from the system why can't he show that benevolent side of him empathy and just give to the nation at least 10 percent of all the wealth that he has that is my take about this if you have a different opinion and you think aliko dangote is a businessman and not a policymaker, and people can choose to be a charity worker or someone involved in charity. People can decide to be charitable or not. Let us be that in the comment section below. And while you're that, uh, may I remind you to kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell below. 
so you will be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by.